Okay, folks, we're gonna keep it fast paced, right? Today, we're making a spaghetti sauce that's gonna be killer, right? So come on in and take a look. First thing we're gonna do is you wanna have a pan big enough to go ahead and get everything, you know, you know, to put everything in. I start with a medium flame, put a little heat. This is my extra version of olive oil. Now this is infused with uh, garlic. Listen, we're doing an Italian dish. How could we not do it? You could do this with a uh, scallion also, but that's branch and vines, you know, extra virgin olive oil, right? So if you guys come over here and take a look, check this out. Really, it's about building layers on top of layers on top of layers, right? So I'm gonna put, have the camera pull back. If you guys look right here, this is 80-20 ground beef. And this right here, oh, that's one pound, and this is one pound of Italian mild sausage, right? I like the flavor infusion of both. It gives it a lot of volume, and when I do it, I do mine on a meaty side, right? So if you come back in here, oh, let me just go ahead and show you this part too. Don't forget the full ingredient list will be on my website. That's smoking and grilling with AB.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Right? Now, if you look right here, I've already went ahead and diced down this, you know, some of my uh, veggies. Obviously, you guys can see I got onions, bell pepper, celery. And then I got a lot of andouille, right? Listen, it's these flavors. Now, we got three different meats. I told you it's gonna be me, and we finna get down with the get down. Now, let me go ahead and get this hot. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with our, our veggies. So, let me go ahead and make room, cause I done crowded up my board like I did, just a little bit. I'm gonna start in these. Normally I start everything with my onions, which I should have done. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and just get all of my onions in now. All right. So now I just take a spatula. You can use a wooden spoon, whatever you would like. And let's just move this around. Let's get some heat on those onions. Right? Now, I'm told this from chefs that's been trained. It doesn't make a difference. You can put your onions in along with all your veggies at the same time. It just, for me, I like to give my onions a little bit of a head start. Now, after one minute head start, you want to put the rest of your veggies in. This whole process, we're only going to go about four minutes because we're going to continue cooking these with the ground beef and the Italian sausage, right? So don't worry. Okay, so it's been about four minutes. You know, they on their way to softening up. This is good right here. You want to do it somewhere right around that four minute time, right? So now, I'll give you guys a little pro tip. I'm going to bring all of this just like this in the middle, right? Because I'm getting ready to put garlic in. And because I'm using my gar garlic smasher right here, my garlic press, when I do this, I don't want it just to sit on the bottom of my pan, right? So we do it like this. And look, it sits on top and it protects it. If you have anything left in there, just we're gonna press it all together. One more garlic clove press. You gotta get yourself one of these press. It gets it all, folks. You know what I mean? Then we put this down here like this. I'm using just the back of my knife, right? And the reason I'm doing that, you don't want to use the front of the knife here to like, you know, take it out of sharpness, right? So now we have that here. Now I'll just move this around. You know what I mean? Because you want to keep it moving so you don't burn your garlic. Next, it doesn't make any difference which order you put it in here. Now I'm getting ready to add my Italian sausage. I got my meat masher right here. And I'm gonna add my ground beef. And now I'm getting ready to just start breaking this up. All right, so it can start cooking. You still wanna be on a medium, a medium flame, folks. We want everything to sweat nice and slow. Right, and infuse with one another. All right, so what you guys are seeing is the, a lot of the pink is going away. It's starting to cook. Just when you don't see no more pink, then we move on, right? We're gonna check how much oil it left down at the bottom of the pan to see if we need to drain, all of that. Now, let me give you guys some options. If you're not eating pork and you wanna make this recipe, you want something good, you can use ground chicken. I'm gonna start bringing ground chicken to my channel. You know why? Because listen, they got it right now at my uh, local grocery store. So look, ground chicken, you just have to season it up when you put it in there, you know what I mean, and get it right. Or you guys can use ground turkey. Same thing, you're gonna need to season. But by having this pork, this Italian uh, sausage, Italian pork, you know, grind, this right here is real, real, real flavorful because it has the flavors already, you know, in there. Right, so that's why I haven't added nothing as of yet. But remember, I didn't want to cook my veggies down. See how you can still see them? This is why, just give them about four minutes and you go from there. Now, right here in front of your eyes, as I was talking, you guys saw that the pink started to go away. 
Don't trip, because we're going to start cooking it. We're going to continue to cook it anyway. So just when you don't see any more pink, we good there, right? So now let's just move this back like this and let's just decide right now if I need to go ahead and drain some of this, you know, oil, All right? So I'll take it, I do it like that and I see a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just drain. So what I do is I pull all of my ground beef back, my ground meat back. I do it like this and you guys can see it. See how it pulls up over there? That's okay, because what I do is I take some paper towels, just set it in there and let it absorb it. And so once you're done, look at that right there. So now we just bring this back nice and hot. Now I'm getting ready to put my fire back. We going back with that medium high. No, we going back with that medium flame, right? And now we finna infuse this with what? You guys got it. It's time to put that in Dewey sauces in there. Now again, another option is I like to use Hoffy brand and chicken and Dewey sauces. That way we ain't fooling with the pork if you guys are not doing it. But look at this right here. When I say a meaty spaghetti sauce, this is what I mean. And just so you guys know, you can use any pasta you would like, but my favorite is angel hair. Now, if you guys come in, you see how I'm moving this around? I'm just trying to get this andouille sausage to start sweating, get a little bit of that heat, right? And what it does is it releases the flavor that's inside of it. That gets on everything that's inside of the pot, from your veggies to your ground uh, beef and your Italian sauce, you know, your Italian uh, sausage. So we're just gonna let this go for about four minutes. Right, now we're getting ready to use, you know, our sauce. All right, so I want you guys to take a look right here. This is after four minutes. We still have that medium, that medium flame, right? My medium, and the reason I say my medium, because everybody's medium is not the same. You know what I mean? Uh, some people, I done seen people's medium and I was like, bro, that's high. All right, so now we're gonna start adding our sauce to it. Right? After I get that second can in here, I'm gonna raise this up to a medium high. Because what we want to do is get this to boil. All right, so look at this right here. I'm going to just stir this in so you guys can just see. It's starting to transform into something. Ooh-wee. Special, baby. I just want to make sure I, I said this. Now you want to raise your temperature up to about a, you want to put your fire underneath at about a medium-high heat. Right? Look at that right there. We ain't even hit it with none of the seasoning, but we put so much flavor and fusion in here that I promise you it's good just the way it is, right? But I got a couple of little tricks that's gonna level this up even more. Trust me, folks. All right, so right here, you know it's a little thick, right? So now I'm gonna add a little bit of my Italian seasoning on the top of here, right? Then I'm gonna add a little bit of my chicken stock or broth, right? We just thinning it out, adding some more flavor to it. You know, we really don't use water, right? That's about all we need. You can look at it and see about the thickness that you would like for your, you know, your sauce to be. But this right here, starting to look good. I like mine a little bit on the thick side anyway. Now I want you guys to tell me, listen, talk to me down in the comment section below. Do you guys like spaghetti the day of or the day after? And then let me know, do you serve your noodles on a plate or in a bowl and then add your sauce or do you like it all mixed in? All right, so now we're just gonna add about a tablespoon of sugar just to give it a little balance. You guys know them tomatoes got that little acidity taste to them, you know what I mean? Which I love, you know what I mean? But I'm just gonna do that. And you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. Listen, I got some, uh, I got some cornbread. I did my sweet version, you know, my honey cornbread. That's gonna be my balance right there. You know what I'm saying? So you guys do it like you like to. Talk to me. How many of y'all put sugar in there for the balance? And I think some of us put it in there just because somebody told us that. You know what I mean? But it really it depends on your palate, you know? But look at that right there, folks. So you guys know I cook with it just about in everything. This is my little level up little secret. You guys can go ahead and add your own. If you don't have no Creole kick, what you can do is you can add your own uh, Creole seasoning to it just for the fire, the background, you know what I mean, and that flavor profile, right? So we just put a little bit in, you know what I mean? Like I said, about a tablespoon, that's all you need. That's like the little hidden gem. It's the same way when I do that chili and I add that cinnamon to it, this right here is what I do. So 
Then I'm gonna go ahead and just add my bay leaf. I like the bay leaf taste, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll give you guys a heads up. If you want to, just use two. Two of the larger ones, but since I didn't have it like that, you know what I mean? Uh, these little small pieces right here, we'll just put those right there and let those work. Now you wanna set this, lower your heat down to a simmer, right? I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on top and we're gonna let this cook for about, about 45 minutes. All right, folks, so let me go ahead and get a pot holder. Let's take this off. Let's look at it, right? So, whew, that's what I'm talking about. Now, I had some pasta water, which anytime I make noodles or pasta, you know what I mean, I always save my, my pasta water, right? So I'm just gonna add a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out right now. Whew. Just cause I see them. Other than that, don't even worry about them. You know what I mean? Uh, somebody get one on their they bowl or their plate, they'll just say, mm, that's good. Now you see how this is? I like it thick like that, but then if you do it that way, what's gonna happen is it's gonna, a lot of your sauce and everything will go away, right? So I just add a little pasta water here. Right, you wanna get a little bit of that starch in there. All right, ooh, just a little bit more. So that was about one cup that I added to it. But look at this right here. And I still got it on that, that low setting for simmer, right? Now, I made my noodles, my pasta. Listen, I made this al dente, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding some, you know, to it. And again, I like angel hair. You guys let me know. Do you guys like the traditional, you know, thick spaghetti noodle or what? All right? Now, I'm just gonna cook this for about 15 minutes. 15, 20 minutes with it in here. You know what I mean? Cause I like mine to be that way. I like it for it to stick and be cooked on there. And to be honest with you, I really like my spaghetti the next day. But look, look at this right here. All right, so you guys come on in here. I got all my spaghetti that I wanted to put in here, right? Look at this right here. This right here is what we call meaty. Well, these, I call it that. Now I can make it over the top and do it more like that. You know what I mean? But I think this is the perfect balance. Now, I'm gonna add a little Parmesan to it. Gotta put your parm in there. Oh, and by the way, I don't have any heat under the bottom. Believe me, it's hot enough, All right? So you guys tell me down in the comment section below what you think about this right here. Okay, folks, look, this right here is scrumptious. You know what, I forgot to tell you guys, listen, right when you mix everything up, you wanna go ahead and taste it and see if it needed any adjustments. I don't have to do it. I know this recipe inside and out. You know what I mean? The more the merrier. So if you guys come on in here and take a look at this right here, look at that. Mm-hmm, yes sir. Now, you know what we're about to do. Cheers, y'all. Check it out. Perfect. I ain't even got no garlic bread out. That's coming though. But what I want to tell you is, if you like it today, you're gonna fall in love with it tomorrow. Mm. Check it out, folks. Look it right there. And then look right here. I've been wiping my mouth, trying to hurry up, but I went ahead and knocked that little plate off right there. All right, Whew. this right here is fire. And I know that tomorrow is gonna be even better, but you know what, I gotta make another one of these. But with all of that talking, I gotta say this right now, check this out. Listen, my good friend, my moderator, listen, Gerald, happy birthday, bro. I bet you thought I was gonna forget about it, but listen, I knew, you know what I mean? Uh, you got some real serious people around you, man. They sent me emails saying, hey, if I could, would I? And of course I would. Again, man, me and you connected here. And from all of us, man, again, happy birthday. Now, with that being said, listen, make this. Talk to me down in the comment section below. Tell me how you make yours. What would you have done differently or whatever? What could you have added to this? Listen, I got so many ways I make really, really mean. So let me know, right? Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here to simplify these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you want to know why I laughed, I look down and say, hey, 
I don't even have my garden bread. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>